And as the theme music fades away, welcome to another frame in the Me 1 vs Me 2 snooker competition. It's been running for over 10 years. And, um, you know, not all on video though. So things have moved on since the early days. Uh, I see, I've got 13 people are watching, but people in the uh, chat room are saying it's up to f as high as 56. It's still not enough, is it, for a sport of this level of excitement the frames we've had recently have been phenomenal some phenomenal excitement and well excuse me some amazing play so um ah here we are anyway um lots to get through tonight a lot of football to get through tonight so i should just say before we start um me one versus me two snooker it's the the idea is that me one me plays me two me at snooker to find out which me is best and at the moment it's very much me too um but i should point out before we get going uh, that i'm tired of course as i usually am but i'm really tired haven't had much sleep um the last two nights and uh, this could go a number of ways but also unfortunately julio cesar guerra tulena's family got in touch last week saying they did not want the frame the arena named after them uh it's after him so we'll have to rename it. Uh, hopefully this will be the last time we have to rename it and we can, um, uh, you know, just get on with it being named after one person. Uh, a few famous people have died today. Uh, Jesus died today uh, in uh, Mexico. Jesus del Moro, but it's not going to be named after him. Caesar died today. Caesar Maschetti. Sorry to break this to you. Uh, Loretta Lynn, a lot of you will be expecting me to name the... Um, she famously hated snooker. She had a song, uh, I, I hate snooker, I'm not snooker loopy, I'm not nuts am I, I hate snooker, and especially if it's just one guy playing himself the same guy. That's her song, I hate snooker. Uh, Ian Hamilton is who the uh, this, this arena is going to be named after, the Scottish lawyer and nationalist. He's probably best known for his part in the return of the Stineskin from Westminster Abbey to Arbroath Abbey in 1950. You can see that uh, now in uh, Edinburgh Castle. Sting of skin, the sting of destiny. It's just a big stone with uh, a handle in it. But uh, Ian Hamilton, he was so he so believed that stone belonged in Scotland. He nicked it from England, took it back in Christmas Eve 1950. Uh, and um, of course you'll have seen him in the film Stone of Destiny Charlie Cox plays uh, Hamilton um, Hamilton himself has a small part in that film as an English businessman uh, but that will be he won't be in any more films because he's died at the age of 97 and is there anything more like the Stonish King than uh, a snooker ball? Is there anything more like that? I don't think so So um, also he invented the Hamilton as well of course he invented the musical Hamilton Ian Hamilton. Um, so, you know, he did a lot of things. And uh, it's Ian, Ian Hamilton is the name of the person. Look, before we... Uh, look, it's 8.03 uh, and uh, we all know what that means. It's straight over to Sports Desk uh, to find out the latest scores in all the football matches. Uh, the big match, Halifax versus York. The uh, My brother supports Halifax and I support York. So, you know, there's, there'll be... A few fisticuffs over this match in the Herring household over breakfast tomorrow if uh, we both go and live with our parents. Uh, but here we are. Here's some lesser games as well. Ajax are playing Napoli. So the uh, Scourer versus uh, the um, ice cream. That's, is it the three different flavours of ice cream all in one? It's nil-nil. Liverpool nil. Rangers nil. I mean, they're just playing a little Rangers. You know, that's not, gonna, that's not a fair game, is it? Club of Bruges is nil. Atla Madrid is nil. FC Porto, nil. That stands for Football Club Porto. B Leverson, Leverkusen, that stands for Brian Leverkusen, nil. Group C, one match has already reached its conclusion. We won't be getting that score. Inter Milan, nil. Barcelona, nil. Group D, Frankfurt. I, I predict this one's going to end up 2-1 to Spurs, but at the moment it's nil-nil to Frankfurt and also to Tottenham, who have the same number of nils. Uh, Scottish Premiership, Ross County, that's just another bloke. That can't be... Uh, oh, good. Luton are losing. That's good news. Uh, nil. Motherwell, nil. Uh, Championship. Bristol City, nil. Coventry, nil. Coventry, um, bottom of the table. Of course, a well, former Premiership team. And uh, could go down into League One. That would be quite the comeuppance 
So they've, they've been up and down like the Assyrian Empire over the years. So you know they used to they go they're like a yo-yo going through the going through the uh, football divisions. Unlike York City, who are like a yo-yo where the strings broken. There's no snap back. They just keep going down. And then slightly up, and then we'll see. We'll see how they do today. Luton nil, Huddersfield one. Delighted about that. Hey, uh, one of the Huddersfield players got that in the back of the net. Sheffield nil, QPR nil, Sunderland nil, Blackpool nil, Cardiff nil, Blackburn nil, Reading nil, Norwich nil. Of course, Norwich wants a Premiership team. Reading as well wants a Premiership team. Cardiff probably, Blackburn definitely worth it. They won the the first division didn't they, at some point, might have been before the Premiership. Sunderland used to be in the first division. Blackpool used to be in the first division. QPR used to be in the first division. And that's the Premiership, I mean, the first, the top division. EFL Trophy, Harrogate nil, Everton U21-1. Portsmouth 2, Aston Villa U21-0. MK Dons nil, West Ham United nil. Half time in that match. Bristol Rovers 1, well done, Crystal Palace U21-0. Exeter 2, Southampton U21-1. Oxford United 1, Chelsea U21-0. Tranmere 3, Leeds United U21-3. That's an exciting match. Three pit, Three goals from each side. Mansfield 1, Derby 1, and uh, Barrow 0, Manchester United. I'm guessing U21 doesn't say there, but that's just a guess. Bradford 1, Leicester City under 21. So U21 0. Gillingham 1, Brighton and Hove dot 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 1. Colchester 0, Charlton 1. Into League 1, where Coventry will be playing next season. Burton 0, Fleetwood 0, Cheltenham 0, Bolton 0, Ipswich 0, Cambridge 0. Plymouth won, Sheffield Wednesday won. Both managed to get in the old onion bag today so far. Maybe there'll be some more goals in that one. Uh, League 2, Hartlepool 0, Doncaster 0, Stevenage, one of my local teams, 0, Sutton United 0, Swindon 0, could have been in Stevenage watching them play Sutton tonight, but I'm here, Newport 0, Walsall 0, Northampton 0, into the National League, the most important league of all, so, wow, oh, that's an exciting result there, Aldershot 0, Eastleigh 0, Barnet 1, Maidstone 1, Boreham Wood, the numbers have gone down, I don't know why there's uh, down to 43, Boreham nil, Bur Bromley nil, Chesterfield nil, Dagenham and Redbridge two, and that's only in 17 minutes. Chesterfield, one of the top teams in the league there, getting drubbing at home, and that's good. only good news for York City. Dorking nil, Yeovil one, Halifax nil, York nil, uh, Gateshead one, Altrincham one, Notts. This is the big one. Notts County and Wrexham both right at the top. Notts County actually managed to beat York City, which is an unbelievable feat. Uh, they're one nil up against Wrexham, of course. Uh, Got all those Hollywood stars and uh, Humphrey Kerr, who is the I think the uh, director of Wrexham now, is uh, English comedian who prompted those Ryan Reynolds and a guy from Everything Happens in S Seattle um, to buy the club. Uh, he's on Rallastapa on the seventeenth of October, so we'll come and see him. There'll be someone else as well. Oldham one, Scunthorpe nil. Solihull Moors nil, Wildston nil, Southend nil, Woking one, Talking nil, Maidenhead nil. FA Cup qualifying: Field versus Cognon Town, nineteen forty-five. Ashington FAC nineteen, Stockbridge Park forty-five. Biggleswade Town nineteen, Billericay Town forty-five. Boston United nineteen, Basford United forty-five. Curzon Ashton nineteen, Scarborough Athletic forty-five. Hanley Town nineteen, Chester forty-five. Plymouth Parkway nineteen, Oxford City. And when you think all of those matches started at quarter to eight, and that is quite an amazing scoreline. And amazing that all be the same scoreline. Uh, back to the Scottish Championship: Cove Rangers nil. That's not a real club. Dundee one, Queens Park nil. Morton one. That's the peak. Quite, those are the Queens Park ones who just stay at home. They don't range. Uh, Scottish League one, Montrose two, Adrianians nil. Lowland League, Berwick nil, University of Stirling nil, Civil Service Strollers, come on, that shouldn't be allowed, should it? They're not a proper team. East Stirlingshire nil, Canbeath nil, Spartans nil, Gala Fairy Dean, one of my favourite teams, 19, being beaten by Dalbeatie Star, 45. And Rangers B have got P and Broomhill as have also got P. So it's P, P, and it's incredible when football turns into letters, isn't it? Amazing. So that was five minutes of our lives. We're not getting back. I hope you're watching that on YouTube uh, the day after this one out. I'll keep you updated on that York City score, regardless of uh, how you're feeling about having scores after 8.03. Um, looks like, looks like uh, well, there's already been a ch substitution for for York, and um, looks like Halifax are for a team in the bottom four are doing pretty well against a fantastic team like York. I think we can be pretty sure York will win that. Um, let's get on with the snooker. That's what we're here for. Um, oh, 
it's really tired. Uh, let's bring... Well, last week... I'll just remind you what happened last week. Um, at last, Me One broke his duck. And he also won a frame of snooker. He um, won 68.25. It leaves it 67.76 at the moment. Uh, me Two still winning by nine points. Let's talk to Me One. How are you feeling about the game? Richard, hello. I'm Me One. I'm the normal man. I'm like the Tory party. I'm I'm a bit distracted by the uh, Tory party um, uh, conference and uh, the fantastic work of Quasi. Really, the, the brilliant speech and Liz Truss. I trust in Liz Truss. Uh, I think the whole country is behind these guys now. And um, last week, certainly having having the, Liz is prime minister really helped me. And Quasi is as. And also, but this week I'm slightly upset because I am, of course, in the higher tax bracket, and uh, I had spent the money, the extra money. Uh, I, get, I, get, I earn a million pounds a year from playing myself at snooker. Do you? Yeah. Well, why don't I get any of that? Because it's for me. It's my snooker sponsorship stuff. Um, so uh, I'm disappointed that's been taken back. I'm going to sue the government to get it. And um, you know, I just want to. I want to let my snooker do the talking. I'm quite tired. I don't really want interest in talking. Me also. We, we'll just crack on. Um, let's. Me too. Can you? Make, what happened last week? I don't know what happened, Richard. Um, I'd like to apologise to my fans. Um, I guess maybe I let him win to make it slightly more interesting. Um, but um, you know, I should. I shouldn't do that. I should. I'm going to buckle down. I'm going to do the best I can today for my fans. I've, I had a letter from a fan called Rodney. He's in hospital. Um, in uh, he's in hospital. In um, where's he in hospital? Don't know. You just have to think of a place. Well, no, I'm trying to remember where he's actually from. He's made up, so just think of a place. Yeah, I'm sort of. Well, I'm going to think of a place, but I'm a bit worried about mentioning somewhere. And there'll be Rodney. We'll be just come come to the place. Uh, the chat room. He's from Peckham. He's Rodney from Peckham. Um, and uh, he is not feeling very well. And he said, "If if I don't win today, he's going to kill himself." And that is not just Rodney; that is the actor Nicholas Lindhurst as well. And he can't even get the the arena named after him because it, it's already been named. So, so the life of Nicholas Lindhurst is hanging by a thread. Um, it just remains to go over to Sybil. Sybil, Aqua Sybil, she exists in all times and places at once. I then so much thing. Ah, what's the score going to be today? I predict the score today will be 15 to the 1. Yeah. And 46 to me too. You think me too is going to win? 15, 46. That's uh, the prediction. Put that down on the prediction street, and uh, we'll see if that comes true. Over to commentator one, commentator two in the uh, arena, and uh, it, I believe it's me one to break first. How do you feel things are going? Hello, Richard. Welcome to the Ian Hamilton Arena. Ian Hamilton, I feel like was a producer at ITV or something. Well, certainly at some point, I don't think it's the same guy. Um, the Ian Hamilton Arena. This is very much their stone. Ian Hamilton. And the old green board, beautifully set up there by referee one. Or is it referee three? Oh, it's a female referee, and I forgot about that over the summer. Um, beauty. Oh, lovely she was. Bending over the table, putting those, handling my balls. Uh, putting them out on the old green board. Um... Uh, she has, however, put the cube ball in the wrong place. Uh, me one is going to come to the hockey first. Let's see what transpires in this amazing contest of giants. I, re I notice referee three has not changed the uh, the old snooker scoreboard. Me one, he hasn't gone in off. He nearly pots a red. Oh, it jingled and jangled in the pocket like something Jimmy Savile would do. Um, me too. Long shot into the bottom corner. Oh, he was equal to it. Not only equal, above it, and he got it. He's going for the blue. Oh, that wasn't so good. 
Although it's a brilliant snooker from me too. One nil up. And he's got uh, that. I was, you know, you should all never judge me too by a cover. Although it actually is not really a snooker. Oh, it was a snooker. Me one. Didn't thought he could get past the brown. He couldn't. He's hit the brown all over the shop. Four points to me too. Calculating, calculating, me one, zero, me two, five. And it certainly seems to be shaping up as Sybil predicted. Oh. Oh, me too. A little bit of a loose shot there. Didn't get down. And me one has a similar shot to me too. Oh, and he takes it too. Anything me too can do, you can do better. Gone for the yellow. Nice diversion. Is it going to go in? No. Me one's off the scoreboard. Me one has got a one. Me two has got a five. The cue ball is right down the this end of the board. Me two. Oh, that was, but he didn't, he didn't even seem to look at that one. He's playing with flair and with, he's wearing flares. Me one. Oh, messes that up. Me two. He's coming, he's having a look. Oh, he needs a, oh, he's missed it, he's missed it. Oh, and me one, I think this is a, this could be a point to me one here. Will he be able to get on a colour though? He's pulled it back, don't know what for. It's going green. Well, me one gets another one. He's up to two, me two's on five. <sighs> here comes me two, desperate to get this over with. Oh, and he's potted a red beautifully. He just smashed it. He thought that that might happen, I think. I think that's what he thought, and he was right. It did happen. He's going for the pink. Why not go for the pink if you're going to go for one of those two? Oh, it jumped in the pocket. Oh, very unlucky for me too. He gets one. The pink ball jumps out of the pocket, goes, hits the blue. The blue goes into the pocket. That's a, six points. It's a foul on the pink, six points to me one. Calculating, calculating, me one, eight, me two, six. And that seems unfair. And me one tries to smash everything around. Bit of me two tactics there from me one. Me two. Oh, he went in a bit too hard on that slightly easy shot. And maybe he's rattled. Me one needs the win here. Me one beautifully pots the red. Is he on the, I don't think the, Oh, he's looking at the black. That is worth a mighty seven points. And he realized he could just feed it through. He's got a break of eight. He's doubled his score. And suddenly it looked bad for me one. And suddenly he's the cock of the walk. Uh, that's not so good though. But eight points. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 16. Me two, six. Me two has a gimme, gimme, gimme which he takes, he comes down the old green board. He is going for the black, he knows what it's worth. He's got it, and he's back in this match. It looked like it was all over, it isn't now. He's equaled the highest break of the frame. Can he make it now into a higher one? Don't think he can, realistically. Is he gonna try something amazing? Oh, what an idiot. What an idiot me too can be. He tried something amazing, it didn't work at all, and he potted the pink. So although he gets a healthy eight points, he gives away six points. It's 22 plays 14, me one. Now at the hockey. Oh, me one's just gone in off though, what an idiot. Couple of just terrible plays from the, both players there. <coughs> 22 plays 18. Me one has already got past the score predicted by Sybil. So I don't know what that, where that leads us. Me too. Oh, again, he's hit that same shot too hard and given me one. It's a gimme, gimme, gimme. It's a Kathy Burke and James Dreyfus. That's what we call it in the, in the business. He's going for the pink. This is dangerous. Oh, it was dangerous, but he did it. He did it, he did it, he did. Me one. Could be on for a two wins in a row here. This could be a three ball break right here. Oh, he's messed it up. Simply seven for me one. He's at 29. Me two, 18. It's close. 
Anything can happen in this sport, especially towards the end. Me two, again, he misses an easy shot. Me one, misses a harder shot, goes in off, and me two's back in it. Just when we thought the door had closed, me one opens the door, and me two says, thank you very much, I'll come in. Thanks for inviting me. I'm a vampire. And, oh, I was going to say this time he doesn't miss, but he does miss. Me one, just needs to keep his cool. That was cool, that was cool as the funds. What he just did there, potted a red. Can he get this pink or will he go in off if he does it? Maybe he would have done if he'd hit it right, but he didn't. So one more point. Me one. Very exciting snooker. Not much comedy. Oh, me two again, same pocket, same jingle jangles, jumping around. And that could be the moment that, de that defines this. Look at that, me one. Pots it straight away. Me one. He's going for the green. How? Why? Oh, that's how, but he's messed it up. Me one. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 31. Me two, 22. It feels like me one's ahead, but that's not that much of a distance. Me two. Oh, has he got a snooker? I think he might have done a really good snooker. Really good snooker. Me one. Oh, really brilliantly out of that. That was an amazing shot. I hope that was caught from above. Me too. Must have thought he was in the points there. And another snooker from me too. This, surely me one can't get out of this one. Oh, me one again hits that brown. Gives four points to me too. Me too is going to play this, even though he's up against the wall. Oh, that was such a hard shot. I can't tell you. That might have looked easy. He made it look easy, me too. It was not easy. Oh, it jingled a jang in the pocket and went in. And he's, this is me too at his prime. He's potted the pink. He's potted a brilliant red, a brilliant pink. Come down the old green board. He's on the yellow. He's potted the yellow. He's on the green. I don't think he can pot this, but can he? He's going for it. Oh, near, so nearly gets it. Whew. So eight, nine points to me too, and it propels him into the lead. He again and again, me one forgets that the points at the end are worth more. Does well at the beginning. You've got to do well at the end. And me one fails to get a snooker. Me too. Comes close there to, oh, that was like the planets moving into position. Me too. Snooker's on the green. Me one gets out of it, nearly pots it. Me too. Doubles it. Oh, just misses it. Me one. What's he going to do here? He's going to try and pot it. Oh, is he going to? Oh, my goodness, no. Oh, me one. What a brave play. But he's got a snooker, I think. And that is another doozy of a snooker. Because that is very, very hard to get out of. The blue's in the way of coming off that. I think me too might just fancy he can just nip the edge of that green. Oh no, miles off. So me too misses, gives four points to me one. And it's even Stephen Weaven, 35 all. Me one could make him play again, but why would he when he can just get a green for free? Look at that. Oh no, me one. What have you done? Me one beautifully potted that green, but hit the pink and the pink flew into the opposite top pocket. Me two gets six points. And at this stage, that could be so crucial. And me two. Snooker on the green. So by rules of self-playing snooker, you can play any ball as a green. He's playing the brown as a green. He's potted it. That's three points. That's the rules of self-playing snooker. He's now on the real green. Trying for another snooker. They might have done it. Might have done it. Might have gone too far. Three points to me too. He's ahead. He's been behind so many times. And now me one. Misses, hits the pink. Oh dear. Six points to me too. And this is like, it's a story as old as time. 
Me too can choose anything as a green. He chooses the bl blue. He's got another snooker. Me one, in danger of hitting the black here. Oh, but brilliantly gets out of that one. Me too. You've got to fancy him now. He's so handsome. But he misses, me one. He's still within shitting distance of this. Oh, he misses a pretty easy, straightforward green. Me too. Oh, what was that from me too? <laughs> me too just gave seven points away for no reason. And uh, anything can be used as a green. That's the rules of self playing snooker. Oh, me one misses the green. Me too. What was he thinking? Why did he hit the black? Oh, he's lost it. He's lost it, Mandy. Me one. He's got another snooker though. Me one misses the green. Hits the, it's the comedy of errors here. Me two gets six points. He's trying to double it into the top corner and he's done it Br brilliantly. Breathtaking stuff. Me too. Oh. Tries the same thing again and does it, but unfortunately went in off. So me too gets three, gives away four. There's 13 points between these two players. There's 22 points on the old green board. It's not over yet, my friends. Me one, perhaps feeling it was over, now suddenly realizes victory's within his grasp. He pots the brown. He does not pot the blue. Goes in off on the blue. So me one gets four, but gives away five, and that could be a problem. There's still time, there's still, it's 64 plays 50. There's 18 points on the green board. Me too. Oh, is he, no. It hasn't worked, me one. Me one, oh, that was poor play from me one. Me two can step in here. He's potted the blue. Me one needs a miracle to happen now. That was nearly it. Oh, me two. Oh. Me two is 19 points ahead. There's 13 points on the ball. Me one needs to miss this pink. He's done it. Very hard to miss. Me two just needs to pot this pink. The fails to do so. Me one just needs a snooky duke or a mistake. And that was not a snooker. Me too. This could take some time. Me one. Oh, it's gone in off. It's all over now, surely. Me too. Finds himself on 75 points. This is so different than what Sybil predicted. I'd like to see a talk away out of this. Me too. Tries to pot in the top, doesn't work. Me one, not giving up. Ooh. Me too, that's good, because that's tempting for me too. He might miss this altogether. He has done. Me one knows what she's doing. Sorry, he's doing. They're doing. Don't know how he identifies. Me one is back. Has to miss this. Oh, it's gone in off. Surely now it's over. Me too. Over 80 points. 81 points plays 56 points. What's going on? How did it get so far? Me too. Pots the pink. Just nudges the black towards the pocket. Finishes with a break of 13. Highest break of the match. Ends up on 94 points. Is that right? 94 plays 56. That's amazing. 56, 94, I mean, that's so far away from what was predicted. But uh, what it means is 67 frames to me one, 77 frames to me two. We've re-established that 10 point gap. Oh, have you ever seen anything like that, commentator two? I mean, I've not seen anything exactly like that, but I've seen essentially that week after week. Um, you know, you said that Me Too might regret that one that jingled and jangled in the pocket, but he wouldn't have done, would he? Well, I just want to say we're up to 100 viewers, so a lot of people tuned in during that. I think word got round the country. 
and something amazing was happening and something amazing has happened. It's over. Back to you, Richard. It's 94, one of the highest scores ever. How did he get to 94? 56, one of the highest losing scores ever. <sighs> Thanks very much, I'm pretty tired. Let's first of all ask Sybil, what the fuck was she thinking? Sorry, I got it. I got the score wrong, the, the result correct. That's true, you did. So 15 is like 56 and 94 is sort of like a four and a nine are similar. And a four's in 94, so that, and a six is upside down nine. So actually I think pretty much called it. Uh, commentator, uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Um, just want to see. Uh, is 94 the highest score in SPS history? Asked Andy McH. Well, if anyone should know, it should be Andy McH. Oh, no. York City are 1 0 down. What? How? 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 Oh, this should be a gimme. Anyway, uh, number one, person number one. Yes, I'm sorry I lost. Person number two, that's for you, Nicholas Lindhurst. May your may long may your acting career reign. Bring back uh, good night, sweetheart. I love that show. Well, there we have it. Two fantastic sportsmen at the top of their game. To put sports people. We did have some gender fluidity during that match, so I will say sports people. Um, and uh, thanks very much to everyone tuning in. Uh, do go to either Waterstones or Amazon, or I think Go Faster Strike very soon. You can order. Richard Herring, can I have my ball back? If 100 people went right now and ordered it, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't mean much. Um, but uh, we've got um, Rahala Stipper coming up on Monday with Annika Rice and Victoria Corrin Mitchell. Can't say fairer than that. Uh, we've got another Twitch of Fun coming on Thursday, if I'm not as tired as I am today. All right, my lovelies. I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, action from me and all the me's. Take care of yourself and each other. And we'll see you next time on the snooker playing game of this. <laughs>